Hello and uh, welcome one and all. Today we will cover Apache Airflow installation. We will install Airflow on Docker. During this tutorial, we will build a custom Docker image of Airflow with additional libraries such as SQL Server Provider since we have covered SQL Server as a source in the previous Airflow videos. I have covered the Airflow and Airflow DAG in this video here if you like to check it out. Before you begin, make sure you have at least installed and configured Docker Community Edition. Also, uh, we will need the Docker Compose on our workstation. I am on a Windows machine, so I have installed Docker Desktop and it is up and running. We can confirm that the Docker is installed and running by issuing a Docker dash dash version command in the command prompt. If it is installed, then it will display the Docker version. Also, down in our tray, we'll see an icon for Docker Desktop, and if you hover over it, it'll tell you that it is running. With that out of the way, let's begin the installation process. We'll launch the Airflow documentation site, and let's focus on running Airflow on Docker. This page discusses the requirements for Airflow, which is Docker application and Docker Compose. Docker Desktop includes both. We will scroll down and get the Docker Compose YAML file from here. I'll open the file in a new window and copy it in its entirety. Let's go ahead and paste the file in a text editor of your choice. I am using Notepad++ and I'll go ahead and set the language to YAML for syntax highlighting. We will change few settings here. First, we'll use a custom image so I will go ahead and replace the image name here to the custom image name, which we'll call Airflow-SQL Server. Second, we will update the port for the web server to 9099, since I already have an Airflow instance running on port 8080. Also, let's scroll down to the flower and change the port here as well. I'll change it to 5559. One more change. We need to change a line 19 here. This uh, has changed. We need to remove the S there. And uh, with these changes, I'll go ahead and save this file in a new folder. I'll call the folder Airflow-SQL Server. And in this folder, we also need three folders, one for DAG, one for logs, and another one for plugins. So this is how our installation directory looks at the moment. Let's create a Docker file. This will allow us to build a custom Airflow image. If you are new to Docker, then feel free to check out the Using Custom Images section on Airflow's page. I will leave the link in the description below. Whenever we want to add additional libraries, then we build a custom image that includes those libraries or dependencies. For example, in this case, we will add the Airflow's provider for SQL Server. So for this, we'll go ahead and create a custom Docker file and we'll save it in the same directory uh, where we have saved our Docker Compose YAML file. In the Docker file, we use the official Airflow image. This comes after the from clause, and then we run a few pip commands to install Airflow's ODBC, and then SQL Server Provider. Also, we install the PyODBC to establish connection to SQL Server. Let's go ahead and save this file. Remember, we saved this file in the same directory. So this is how our installation directory looks at the moment. So we have three folders, one for DAGs, one for logs, one for plugins. Let's open up command prompt and navigate to this installation directory. We will go ahead and issue a Docker build command with dash T for tag or image name. We will call it airflow dash SQL server. Then we supply the Docker file with dash F. And after that, we provide dot for the current directory and we ignore the cache if there was a previous attempt to build a file with the same name. This will start building the custom Airflow image. It can take a while depending on the number of libraries we are installing. We'll give this time to finish and come back once the image is complete. Our image built successfully. We can check the Docker application and images and our new image is present here. So our image built successfully. 
Now we can run this image with the docker compose up command. So we'll issue this command in the same command prompt window here. This will run the image and all the containers under it. As the docker is bringing up new containers, you'll see the various statuses in the command prompt. All of these containers are listed in our docker compose YAML file. So if you review that, you'll see the web server, scheduler, trigger, flower, and so on. All of those containers are building. Once the web server is up, we can launch it in the browser with localhost and the port 9099 or whatever port you have specified in the YAML file. This will launch the Airflow web server. So we have successfully installed Apache Airflow on Docker. We can log in with default user and password, which is set to Airflow in the YAML file. Once we are logged in, let's navigate to Admin and Connections and add a new connection. I want to check whether SQL Server is listed as one of the sources. If we install the base Airflow image, then this provider is not installed by default. SQL Server is listed as one of the providers. So let's go ahead and connect to SQL Server running on the host machine. Connection ID, we can specify any name. I'll call it SQL Server. Uh, the connection type will be Microsoft SQL Server. You can provide a description if you like. And for host, we'll use the host IP address. Schema is the database. So in this case, it will be AdventureWorks DW 2019. And then we provide the login, uh, which is the username and the password and the default port for SQL Server, which is 1433. Let's go ahead and test connection. And if everything is specified correctly, this will be successful and we can go ahead and save this connection. So this is how we can connect to SQL Server or Postgres or any other providers that are listed in the connection type dropdown. We can connect to those and use them in our DAGs. This is all on Airflow installation. I hope you enjoyed the session. Like, share, and subscribe. Take care, and I'll see you in the next video.